Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Adrian Aussie 3 HD with me, Boltish McGammer. Now then, this time we are going to try and figure out where those ants were. I didn't want to go looking for these ants while I was on the quest to grind here, because like I feel like the boss for this is difficult. Very difficult. But I'm also much higher level, and I have Shogun, and I'm past the stratum, so maybe I should just get this quest done. So let's see. Last time I was over here, the ants were discovered because of the Pomona fruit, and the Pomona fruit tree was, like, here, I think. So, where are these ants coming from? Let's see if we can find the source. This wasn't here before. As you proceed through a scorching cavern, you find an area covered with blood stains. The blood on the wall causes you to notice an outcropping with a hole behind it. You recall the request you accepted to get revenge on whoever lurks beyond here. Ironically, you would never have noticed this passage if not for the blood stains. Aha. Uh -huh. Is that so, game? If you are prepared, then you can enter this hole and track down the killer. Enter the hole? Yes. You bend low and manage to creep through the hole and enter an expansive cave. The stifling atmosphere has an extra feeling of eeriness that puts you on edge. You encourage each other to keep your spirits high as you continue deeper within. Okay, so now we got the hole. It might only be available on the quest. Alright, so let's see. What have we got in here? Pain floor that way. Nothing around here. No fruits? Nothing? Okay. We're getting a lot more trees. Okay, uh, let's see. That's a lot of ants. I don't need to fight them, though. See. Yep, yep, that's more painful. for. We'll put that down on the map. And a lot more pain for there. Alright, so that will probably connect it all the way over. Let's take the path that's less harmful to me directly. For now. Tons of ants. All killers. Nothing here. Okay, it looks like we have to tread on this floor. What have we got here? Nothing. Okay. Uh, more pain here. It looks like it bends around the corner. Alright, so that's just a very painful route that I could have taken. That looks like a door. Now, why would the ants need a door? That's the real question. Okay, alright, lots and lots of pain everywhere here. Just like that. Just do like that. So many ants! We don't need to fight them, though. So many ants. This looks like it does one of those. This might just be a long, windy path with everything else that's not nearby, just death. Okay. All right, looks like I have to walk on one tile. That's fine. Another door. Another door, huh? Very good, then. Put that down. Even worse, like, all this is probably potential areas that those golden FOEs could appear on, too. So it's just, ah. Uh, I hate this. I'm going to have to walk over every single one of these tiles one day. Ah, oh, goodness sake.
As you eventually reach a gigantic open area within the cavern, you see a massive, grotesque monster perched arrogantly in the center of the hall. This huge insect turns its motionless, inhuman eyes towards you. There is no mistake, this is the master of the nest that wiped out Ricky's guild. There is no time to lose. You must set your mind to defeating this threat. Am I able to... No. <laughs> uh, I entertained the thought. Maybe I should heal before I go into the fight. Okay, let's give it a try. Wicked Queen has appeared! That sure is a theme. Let's provoke. Uh, maybe a protect order in order to get some healing over time. And then a scream. So it summons minions. Okay, we can deal with that. Not that kind of defend. Bash as hard as we can. Uh, maybe a prevent order. Let's see if we can stop ailments. That's a lot of damage, but we're able to deal with it. This will be even more efficient if I use the Berserker Palace, but I'm afraid of dying. Do you blame me? Okay, the Provoke buff is going to keep the other buff from going on. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Um, let's put a... Let's put a Protector Word on the back. Hello, new enemies. You also get the Wolf out. You know what? Uh, it's a shame you don't have an area heal that isn't a Meteor. Let's just drop a Meteor. You've got plenty of TP. Okay! It threw it at me! Okay. Alright, can't stand for that. That's not good. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, that sticky acid's not good. Uh, should I waste TP with a party heal? The protect order is about to fall off. I could probably just refresh it. No, defend for a turn. Let's wait it out. Dark Ether. Charge it up. It's a its health isn't going down at all. Alright, we're in for a long one. We're in for a good long one. Okay. Charge it up. Gotta get a new protect order on the front. Actually, a line heal might be in order this time. That wolf howl is about to go down. Let's get a new wolf howl up. Okay. We can do this. I think the provoke's down. That's fine. That's fine. We need more damage. Let's get that attack order on the front. More teammates. Good. Charge it up. On guard. Do I want to fire barrage and try to take them out? I know that doesn't work. I know it doesn't work. Charge it up. Attack order. Yeah, they need the healing over time. Protect order. Ugh. I could use fire to plink one of them, though. Let's try that. Oh, goodness. Uh, I think Aegis Defense might not block them throwing an ant, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it, because what else am I going to do? Get Protect Order up on the back. Keep them from using all their power. Okay, it was physical damage. We did block it this turn. Good. This sure is a fight. I'm glad I didn't try to do this earlier. Maybe I should try the Berserker Vows. Hold on. Let's do it. Let's really do it. 
We need damage. We need damage right now. Attack order is about to go down. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this. Guard order at the front. How long's left on the wolf howl? Two turns. Okay, it'll be fine. I can do something else this turn. Let's try to take out that ant. I killed the ant. I don't know what the ants make. That's fine. Play it with fire. Okay, now charge up. Now line guard. Now charge up. Uh, the protect order is about to fall off, but they're not going down yet. And I feel like Jade might need to heal. Better to overheal than to underheal. All right. You don't need to do your thing yet. Etheric charge. Oh, I didn't activate the thing. I wanted to use Hellfire Etheric charge. It didn't work. Okay, well that's on me. Five ring sword. Mind guard. Front mortar. How's the buff looking? Need the attack buff. Are you still buff with the theory charge? No. Oh well. Don't keep them in front. Okay. And Berserker Vow is still on. That's good. That's good. We need that. Charge it up. Berserker Vow only has one more turn, though. Uh, is it worth it to get that damage out? Probably. Probably, but not right now. Honestly, the Berserker Vow taking up a buff slot really isn't doing me any favors. We're still doing it, though. I probably should have party heal instead of line heal. Hmm. I think I can go without one turn of line heal. Let's make it double. I think I can go one turn without the line heal. Okay. Or the line guard. Let's try this. Let's try this. Uh, I need a party heal. They can all afford to spend it once, right? No, they really can't. Okay, now there's two of me. Okay. Charge it up. Line to guard the front. Charge it up. I said, charge it up. Okay. All right. How are those buffs looking? All right, I need a new protect order in the front. This will be good. This will be good, I hope. Uh, how's their defense looking? Defense down for three more turns. I could probably take out one of the Pomona Takers. I do know that they're weak to, to stuff. No, I don't, because... I thought I defeated one of these before. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Now I can line guard the back to really make sure the back is safe. Or I can uh, bodyguard people while I'm in the back. This is great. This is great. Actually, I'm just going to attack. <laughs> okay. Yeah, line guard in the front is still a thing. Maybe, uh, yeah, just having the extra voltage in the back might be able to enough, be enough to... Enough to do something. <laughs> oh, my brain is mush. I've been at this too long. Are they charging this turn? No. Are they charging this turn? No, they're blasting. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I need an Emerita. Let's throw an Emerita on there. Okay. Right, let's block everything. We're just gonna keep on using charge and then the other thing. Whatever is relevant is what we're going to use. Tech order is still up. I don't need to use any orders. I could probably conserve TP this turn. 
I could heal the back. No. Conserve this turn. We're not going to take damage, I don't think. How's our defense buff looking? Only one turn left. It'll go down. I might as well get it back up now. Okay. More of this. More of this. More of this. We're going to do this. It's, we're going to be successful. There's no other way. Protect towards the back. Ether the front. Uh, who's low? Who needs another Amrita? Magic Face could use one. This is just the way it's going to be. This sure is a strategy I'm using. Probably plink her. That might be even better. All right. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Attack order is down. Let's get that back up. I really should get Zara the ability that makes you get TP back whenever your while your buff falls off. That'll probably help out with her longevity. But she has more important things to be getting. The wolf howls down. Are they blasting this turn or are they charging? They're blasting. Well darn. I don't know if they can continue to afford it, especially not Fungus. We'll just do it without the defense down this time. This sure is rinse and repeat. But when you got something that works, you just keep making it work, right? I can't imagine myself having done this earlier. Attack and protect. Attack's about to go down in the back. It's fine. We're doing it. We're going to do it. Oh no, they threw their buddy. Okay. And then they replaced their buddy. And now we have another buddy. Okay, this is fine. She's under half. Yeah, how, how expensive is Fungible Sing? That's like all of his TP. It's also not very efficient because it keeps going down. Hmm. Yeah, Fungible's gonna need an Amrita. There we go. Now he's back in business. How's their buffs looking? The protect order fell off at the front. Okay, now you can use an etheric charge with a limit. Use the limit first. Now you can etheric charge. That's the way I want to do it. No, we're gonna get another throw! Okay, Fungus holds on. That was a good charge. Now for another barrage of this. The attack order fell off again, that's fine. Get that back on. This is how it is. Yeah! An Execution Claw! And Fungus leveled up! You discovered a new monster! The monster collapses with a blood-curdling shriek as your final blow strikes home. You have successful succeeded in besting this monster. You set one foot on the monster's corpse and offer a prayer to those who fell. Your mission of revenge has been completed! Return to the bar and report your deeds. Okay, let's map out the rest of this chamber. Gah! Of course! Of course I would step on that tile. Of course I would! 
You know what? I have to. I have to. I have to step on all the tiles. I have to do it now. Okay. All right. That's done. All right. I used, like, what? Two Emeritas? I don't think I used any Neckers. So that's nice. Used two Emeritas. Okay. Let's sell that claw. A katana? And it's expensive? How much better is it? Hold on. It's expensive. I, uh, that would be good. But this one's even better and I only need one more of something. I don't know what a proboscis is. Ah. Let's buy the two Emeritas. And a new thread. Sleep until morning. Oh, that sure was a long boss. And we're turning in at the bistro. Oh, how happy am I to be seeing that you are back! I was worrying so much, I was thinking I might get a ho hole in my stomach. I see. So the ant leader was behind the massacre. I am hoping Ricky will be able to sort things out in her heart now. Still, you are unstoppable, are you not? I am most impressed. For serious. Here is your reward. Be taking it. Good working as always. Come back again. Vigor books. Excellent. Excellent. And now I proceed to just not use them <laughs> again. I shouldn't store them like this. I should use them. I'm pretty sure when you retire a character, when you retire a character, you, like, the book benefits stay on. But part of me in the back of my brain is just being a gremlin being like, no, no, you can't use the books. You shan't use the books. You will never use the books. <sighs> Let's report that to the Senate. Along with everything else I've discovered recently. Yeah, if you don't visit this in a while, you kind of... You get a bit of a backlog. Okay, Wicked Queen. Not weak to a darn thing. Resistant to everything, including physical, and I did mostly physical damage against you. That sure is a lot of health. Oh, and they sure did just throw. They sure did just throw their babies at me. That sure is a way to play a queen. Alright. I think that's good for now. Next time on Etrian Odyssey with me, Voltage Begabber, I might go deeper, I might go to the ocean, I'm not sure yet. Later, explorers!